Welcome back. Hope you're having a good morning. Well, it's going to be a good morning for the bulls at least to kickstart trade because the gift 50 is suggesting that we open up in the green. A couple of positives played out overnight. The U.S. market headed in the green. Crude oil prices cooled off a little bit. And the U.S. Treasury yields as well cooled off. So put all that together, well, you'll be feeling quite good if you're a bull. But plenty of stocks to discuss and we just ran you through our top 10 stocks. Deepan Mehta, Director of LXR Equities, joins us to help us out analyze some of uh, this piece of news. Uh, hi, Deepan. Uh, good morning. Deepan, let's start off by talking about the large trade that we're expecting, uh, you know, as market opens. On Coforge, Bearings PE, they had 70% stake close to three years ago. They have been gradually selling their stake. And we understand from sources that 26% that's left goes out of the way. How do you approach the stock from year on in the backdrop that the management had told us they're going to grow by mid-teens irrespective, 13 to 16% odd? And also because of the promoter selling, now there could be some passive flows that come in as well. Your take. Yeah, uh, Nigel, good, good morning and thank you for having me on your show. I think it will have a temporary negative effect on the stock price because these deeds are usually done at a slight discount. But the fact that, uh, you know, Bering is able to exit with a, by selling a 26% stake, and I'm sure the investors who are buying this stake are all marquee investors, uh, just shows the depth of the Indian market. And typically when private equity, large private equity players like Bering get an exit or able to end cash, their investments, it just brings that it just means that they will bring more cash later on into the country, maybe through some other investment. Specifically, as far as Coforge is concerned, I think it's business as usual. The company has the best in class growth rates, and the exposure to travel industry is doing pretty well for them. And this is the age of super specialization, and the uh, customers or the market at large have understood the value of mid cap companies and what they bring to the table in terms of domain expertise. So I think that when it comes to software, you have to be in the mid-cap stocks like, so say, Coforge or KPIT or Persistent Systems, Tata, LXC. These are all specialists, and I think that they have an edge over large-cap uh, IT companies for very uh, smaller projects where they have a domain expertise. Okay, we have to discuss Reliance Industries, right, Dipan? So uh, I want your thoughts on that. And I also have two gentlemen joining me, Abhijit Bora, the Senior Research Analyst of Sher Khan and Devang Shudatta, founder and CEO of Third Eyesight. So the news, in case you missed it, is that um, Reliance announced that QIA has invested over 8,000 crores to buy 0.99% stake in the retail arm of Reliance uh, Retail at a $100 billion valuation. So, uh, you know, that's big news coming through. Uh, so, Dipan, before I go to the others, I wanted your thoughts on this. Now, there's the AGM that's coming up on the 28th on Monday. And of course, you know, I re remember five years ago, the management had said that in five years, they will list uh, both, uh, you know, geo as well as the retail business. And now four years are up. So, all eyes will be on whether they give us any timelines on the listing of these businesses. But purely on Reliance Retail and the announcement that has come through, what is your view? Yeah, good morning, um, Sonia. The first thought which came to my mind is I wish I could buy Reliance Retail as well, but I cannot. I have to buy through Reliance Industries. And when I buy through Reliance Industries, I'm getting telecom also, I'm getting oil to chemical, I'm getting new age businesses, energy businesses. And it's a conglomerate of many, many, many segments and many sectors. And it's about time, as you said, that uh, some amount of uh, restructuring is done and these companies are listed separately. I only hope that it is a split the way that it with Geo Financial. Otherwise, if it's just a pure IPO, then Reliance Industries become a holding company and we do not give a very uh, very low discount. I think we give a very high discount to holding companies. So that would be a disappointing from a shareholder's perspective. But if it is split, then certainly I think uh, uh, it will add a lot of value to minority shareholders. So let's see what steps the management take. But on the whole, I think it's a great, great development for Reliance Industries. And uh, I think it, gets, uh, it gives them a lot of capital to grow the business as well. And it's a value discovery process. <clears throat> okay, uh, Deepan, uh, just one more uh, quick question. Uh, two, actually two. One is yesterday all the Adani Group stock. <clears throat> okay, I think we'll what we'll do is we'll uh, <clears throat> just two questions. One is Adani Group stocks, which all sold off yesterday in the last sixty minutes or so of trade. Uh, so, any thoughts? Anything you picked up there? I mean, actually, pretty large sell selling. And the other one is Paytm, Deepan, which uh, spiked some seven eight percent. Uh, in uh, in trade towards the end. I think Bernstein has got a note out this morning on uh, Paytm positive view. Go on, Deepan. 
Well, but Adani Group and why stock prices go up or down, very difficult to predict. You know, a lot of news flow does happen over there and there's hectic trading activity in these stocks. So it's difficult to analyze why stock prices go up or down for that matter. But Paytm, I think it's getting more and more support from the analyst community. And clearly we can now able to understand what their business strategy is and the road to profitability also is becoming more and more, uh, I would say, set and clear in the minds of the investors. And month after month, quarter after quarter, they are delivering exceptional numbers in terms of users, in terms of transactions, in terms of the new loans, which they have, uh, you know, uh, kind of got for their banking partners. So I think it's following its set path. And sooner or later, it will become uh, profitable. And one of the unique fintech companies, which offer a gamut of services and is yet profitable. So I think a lot of investors like the business model. And maybe from these levels also, you can expect the stock price to move up higher. Okay, all right. Uh, Deepan, just to weigh in on the Paytm point, you know, the uh, Nuvoma alternate research report came out yesterday and they're saying that in the MSCI changes for November, which the cutoff will be October, they see some bit of pr probability, not a very high probability, but Paytm could possibly be included. So that could be one of the other reasons. The note was released uh, last morning. So maybe in fact... That could be one of the reasons as well. Okay, big moves on Paytm, right? 900 rupees now on the stock. But let's get back to that. Well, uh, Dipan Mehta is still with us. So let's get just one more call from him. Uh, Dipan, I wanted your thoughts on some of these uh, technology stocks that have been big movers this month. So in the month of August, for example, Tech Mahindra is up already about, uh, I think, 10% this month and this year about 20%. Uh, do you see more upsides here? No, Sonia, I think, you know, pretty disappointed with Tech Mahindra's performance last few quarters on or so. And I know the telecom opportunity is huge and the world is moving towards 5G, but one would expect it that a telecom expert uh, would certainly report uh, better growth rates and certainly that's a possibility going ahead. But all I would say is the reason for the upswing could be some bottom fishing and cheap valuations. But we remain firmly committed to the mid-cap space. I think that's where the growth is going to be and people will always pay premium. Uh, for secular long-term growth. And that's where I think uh, a lot of mid-cap stocks will be favored over large-cap software companies. Devan, always good hearing your thoughts. Thanks so much for stopping by and having a quick chat with us uh, early this morning. Wishing you a good session ahead and uh, a good evening as well, later on in the day.